What's going on guys? Welcome back to another trading video on the channel. Uh, we are bringing to you today the objective player trading method. Uh, if you are new, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I do post a lot of these trading videos, a lot of formation guides, and occasionally the odd player review and pack opening. Uh, so with that being said, let's get into it. We're going to look at the objective players that we have. Uh, the obvious one is the big one, the La Liga. We have Isaac. So if we look at the objectives. This is all important. Uh, assist three goals with crosses. Um, score four finesse goals using players of minimum four star weak foot, uh, 15 goals in La Liga links, uh, nine matches and 11 separate matches between players with minimum four star skill moves. So if we go to that objective or the game mode that we need, uh, the La Liga one, I believe, uh, we need, so we need 11 La Liga players. So it's a full La Liga squad, which means we need a La Liga player with minimum four star skills and four star weak foot. There's a couple of cheap players that people look to uh, look to players for these for objectives, um, and they are um, the same players time after time. Vinicius Jr. is one of them. Uh, he is a player that has five star skills, four star weak foot, so he fits the bill. Is La Liga and he plays in a wide position uh, up the left, so you don't really have to do too much with tactics. So he's an easy, obvious choice, uh, especially with the crosses objective in this. Um, so. What we did, we went ahead and bought him during squad battle rewards when he was going to be cheapest. Obviously, he, obviously, 80 rated card, very, very highly packable. Um, so we got him uh, during squad battle rewards on a Sunday night, which is typically when these kind of players for this trading method are the cheapest. Um, we were able to get him for around 2,900 to 3,200 coins a piece. Now, if we go and look up Vinicius, his, uh, his trade value right now, let's get this pulled up for you here quickly. Uh, we go to Venetia's, and we go 3.7, 3.9. We've got two at 3.9, 3.8, 3.9. So um, a lot of them are going to be trading for higher than that. Obviously, these are not going to be on the market for very long. So you don't have to worry about that. Our target price when we've got a lot in the market is 4,000 coins. This is where we've got a lot of them on the market. Uh, as you can see, 3.9, we've got four. So they are getting listed up. So I can get that one quickly. Nope. Uh, they are getting listed up around 3.8, 3.9. So that is a time where we can sell because if you go and look at his footband chart, I don't have the footband chart pulled up right now, but if you do go and look at his footband chart, uh, you are going to see that his highest since October 27th, I believe, was this is his highest that he's been, um, is around 4,000 coins. So we're going to go ahead and sell off our entire transfer list of Vinicius Jr. We have, I think, about 40 of them maybe or so. Uh, yeah, about 40. Um, so... Essentially, how this method works is you need to look at the objectives, go in the respective league that you need for that, and find players that fit that objective bill, fit whatever the objective requirements are. So, Venetius, for example, is a cheap player, meta, pacey, not the best passing and shooting, but can easily be fixed with a very, very cheap chem style uh, and does fit the objective uh, skill moves and weak foot requirements. So, um, for example, say we get a Premier League one where we need assists from midfield. Uh, you're going to look to someone maybe like a Deli Ali, who's a cheap meta midfield player, I guess, or even like a Jesse Lingard, for example, because they're very, very cheap cards, Premier League, uh, and, and they get the easy links. And another one where, say, it was Lali, a striker, uh, Anaki Williams would be another one because he's very cheap, he's low rated, he's got the, he's got the pace, that's really all you need in these objectives is pace. Um, so, I mean, that is it, guys, that's basically all we have for a video today, it's just the quick uh, objective trading method. This is going to be a good way to make about 20 to 25 percent of your returns on your initial investment. Uh, and I hope this is helpful for you in the coming weeks with all the objective players we've got. It tends to work better with the main league players, uh, not as much with the um, the off league players. For example, the Turkish league this week, not exactly the most uh, profitable. You can make a few coins, but it's not really worth the risk, uh, in my opinion. So, guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button, leave a like on the video uh, for more tips and tricks like this on how to make more coins at FIFA 21 so you don't have to spend your money on FIFA points. Guys, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace, fellas.